Well, very sad. I mean, she's been a fantastic and uh, constituency member of parliament, and I'm pleased to say, as, as far as we know, she will carry on as a member of parliament. So we're very pleased. Uh, if you've been out in the high street recently, you'll probably discover that uh, everyone thinks she's a great MP, uh, regardless, not just Conservatives, but she works so incredibly hard. Uh, so we're pretty ups, pretty sad. Well, we had the Euro elections yesterday and uh, to our amazement she was out canvassing. I was canvassing with her this time yesterday uh, in the constituency so she was carrying on doing her usual job which she does fantastically energetically. I think probably she felt it would be better to go now than wait till next week when it would look as if she was being forced out because of those bad election results which are really outside our control. It's the only reason I can think of. She has an amazing capacity for taking the slings and arrows of uh, outrageous fortune and carry on. Um, she's a very fit lady. She goes from door to door and it's very hard to keep up with her. So she was doing the usual thing and talking to people and being friendly and she got a good reception. Um, but I would say, yes, yeah, she was fairly uh, thoughtful and you can understand that. Um, under the circumstances she was obviously thinking what was going to happen next and which she probably knew she had the courtesy of calling me on her way to Downing Street this morning just to tip me off as to what she was saying and I was very grateful for her to do that um, so she, she could establish that she was not going to cause a by-election I think it's probably fair to say when Cameron resigned he said he thought the a job should be carried on by someone who was, who was in favour of Brexit. Uh, Theresa had been pretty much on the fence, I think, although she was voting Remain, she was kind of on the fence. So I think I would guess it would be someone who's stronger on the Brexit side. Well, Boris did a good job as Mayor of London, and of course he has a track record of being successful in what is essentially a Labour uh, stronghold, so that, that's a tick. Um, and he did pretty well as um, a foreign secretary. Um, he is a brilliant journalist and a phenomenal brain, and he does cheer you up, which is all in his favour. I mean, he has got other things which people, you know, feel he's maybe not concentrating as hard as he should do. Uh, but he's obviously a strong contender. But I don't think, I mean, us, us as main Conservative Association have no views. I mean. Each individual will make their own choice. When you see the results from yesterday coming out on Sunday, that uh, I suspect there's going to be a huge chunk of Conservatives who voted Brexit and a small proportion of Conservatives who voted Liberal um, because they were Remainers. But she intends to carry on as a Member of Parliament. Um, as the next Prime Minister, she could go to the Lords if she wished, if that's the route she wanted to, to continue her political career. I mean, she's totally dedicated to politics, and that's what, what she does. That's why she's such a great constituency member of Parliament. She only has one holiday a year, as far as I can tell, which is walking in the Alps. No, she's totally polit uh, co committed to policy. She's totally committed to Maidenhead. She loves it, and uh, we, we love her. It is a pretty impossible job to take on. So uh, if, if she didn't do it quite right, I, it's hard to think that anyone else would have done it better.